Hi friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you all are having a great day, an awesome day, a wonderful day. I'm excited because I finally, and dreadfully, went through all of my eyeshadows, my palettes, my cream shadows, my pigments, my glitters, singles, quads, all of that stuff. And I pulled out everything that I knew I wasn't going to continue using. The stuff that I needed to throw away is now in the bin. I have all my eyeshadows fully organized and I look at it and I think, oh, I have that item right there and I'm excited to use it. I can see what I have. However, there were several products that I wasn't sure I wanted to keep or if I wanted to chuck. So, I created a bin called the Second Chance Bin. I'm gonna do a lucky dip where I blindly pick an item out of the bin and I'm gonna use it in today's video. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. By the way, if you're new here, hi there, welcome. My name is Em and you're watching Make It Break where we do all sorts of fun makeup y things. All right, if this is your first rodeo with me and you like what you see today and you wanna come back and hang out again with me in the future, please be sure to click the subscribe button and also click that like button if you wanna help a girl out. That would be much appreciated. And of course, you can always go down into the comments and answer my little random question there. I would love to have a chat with you. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I look at this bin and I'm like, why didn't I just throw it all away? Or why didn't I just keep some of this? But here we are, new series, new fun stuff. So, ugh, here's the bin. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Don't mind my subflooring. I need to replace the flooring in here. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and dig in here. Oh, we're gonna use this today. This is the e.l.f. Nude Rose Gold Palette. There we are, so that's what I'm gonna use today. All right, so some backstory on this palette. One, it's really hard to open. So if you have issues with dexterity, this might not be a good palette for you. Let's try that again. The backstory of this palette is that I received this as a gift. It was part of an e.l.f. kit that I got. And I was at first really excited about this palette because I love the rose tones. I'm not usually a pink fan because I find that it makes my eyes look red and puffy and swollen. But this is a nice, very neutral in terms of the rosiness since there's only two pinks in this palette, and then mostly browns. So at first I was like, okay, that, that can work for me, but I have the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. And I thought, ooh, this would be a great dupe for that. I'll keep it because I can, you know, talk about how much of a dupe it is. But then I realized recently that the reason I was keeping this was because I was hoping to do kind of a comparison between the two, but I'm not really a review channel. I like to share palettes and I like to talk about them. My preference is to show you how to use them, to do color story challenges, to find fun ways to play with makeup and maybe teach a little bit here and there uh, makeup artistry since I've been a professional makeup artist for over 10 years. I didn't really feel the need to keep this, but then I'm also drawn to it because I like the colors and I like that it's a small compact palette that I can travel with and it's smaller than the Naked 3 palette. So, um, it's only been used once or twice because there's still a lot of shadows in here that have never been swatched. So, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna apply my favorite of the moment base, which is the Elizabeth Mott Thank you later eyeshadow primer. I've already done lip, a lip color. I've been trying out a new to me liquid lipstick and this is from the Laura Lee Los Angeles nudie, nude whatever collection that I just got in the mail. And this is a combination of two different colors. You're not here for that necessarily, but I thought I would tell you that just in case you were curious. It's a mix between Nakey Nakey and Topless. Kind of an interesting combo, it's a little orangey looking, which I kind of dig, you know. So this kind of orangey coral with a cool toned pink. That's gonna be an interesting combo, don't you think? And that rhyme. I'm going to tap into this lighter taupe shade here. Fourth one in. Oh, this is a really light dusting here. Is there even any color? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's a little bit there. It's kind of, it's very light. I'm gonna have to take a deeper tone. It's a bit of flyaway pigment here too, but no fallout. All right, let's do this darker, deeper one here instead. Yeah, that works. So it's not as pigmented, at least in these two colors I'm using. 
as the Naked 3. Should I zoom you in? I just realized I haven't zoomed you in. Is that better? Alrighty then. I'm going to go into this deep shade on the end here. It's got some sparkle in here, it, uh, some gold sparkle, which I find interesting because this is such a cool toned palette. So I'm going to just take a little flat shader brush and just kind of sweep into that and see what I can do here on the outer edge. Will some of that gold sparkle stay? That's always the question. Usually they don't. You have to use your finger with kind of a sticky base, but that's okay. I don't really want it for the sparkle. Ooh, that just blended right away. Um, okay. The pigment's there. Well, that's kind of muddy. Weird. Because it just, it was very dusty and just kind of blended away. Then I did a second layer and now it's really patchy. How is that even possible? Okay, well, I'm just going to have to add a color on top of that here in a minute. <laughs> Strange. Yeah, that's kind of patchy. Huh. Well, I think I have an opinion on this palette already. It's kind of lackluster. It's not one of their better palettes. It just doesn't look good. And it's not even even with this side. What is going on? I'm going to have an ugly smoky eye. And I've already done concealer, so I'm going to have to redo it all because of all the fallout. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to try a better brush just to see. I mean, a brush shouldn't really make the difference. It's all about the eyeshadow itself. Yeah, that's really weird. It's like... You see, it's patchy because it's dusting away. Okay, I, I've been... <laughs> okay, I've made a decision. This is the easiest and fastest decision on a palette ever. Sometimes it just takes using something again. Because I think the look I did before was like a, an all pink look or something. I don't know. I don't know, maybe that's why I haven't used this. It's because I knew that it wasn't that good. I don't know. Yeah, this is not looking pretty. It's like a hot, smoky mess, right? <laughs> well, I'm committed. Let's do this uh, pink one or the gold. Actually, let's just do both while in Rome. Ooh, that's actually a really pretty shimmer. Um, well the gold's pretty, but it looks kind of wonky over the top of this weird brown color. And that just dusted away as well. What is going on with this? It's not my primer, I'll tell you that, because I've used this primer with so many different eyeshadow formulas, and it does a good job, so... Elf! What's, what's up with that? Let's try some pink. The pink's pretty. Nope, same thing. This does not look good. And it's not like I'm trying to make this look bad. It's just... It's not a good palette. It's not a good palette. That's unfortunate because it's really pretty. And I thought it would be a nice dupe for the Urban Decay one. But I'll be honest. The Urban Decay Naked 3 is so much better. So I don't need to keep this. Fastest decision ever. If the darkest shade isn't working for me and the mid-tone shades barely show up, they're probably the nicer ones because the shimmers just don't really stand out to me. I'm going to go ahead and pass this off and maybe my sister will get some use out of it. I doubt it, but maybe she'll use it in a resin art or she can give it to someone. I don't know. It's only been used twice, so maybe it'll get some love somewhere else, but it's not going to get any more love from me because that looks terrible. What in the living daylights is wrong with my makeup today? It looks like I don't know how to do makeup. And as I said, I've been a pro for 10 years, so I should know a little bit about how to apply makeup. But anyway, that's that. Nope, I'm not even going to justify it by applying mascara and all that because I'm just going to wash it off. All right, you guys. <laughs> so I'm trying to come up with a fun name for this series. Keep or Chuck. Um, something a little catchy, something a little quirky, something that's just fun. What do you think the name of this series should be? I don't know. Just let me know. Because this is going bye bye Goodbye. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this video was fun, maybe entertaining, maybe even helpful for you. Again, if you want to come back and hang out, be sure to subscribe. And let's just have a little conversation in the comments below. Be sure to answer that little question. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay electric. As always, Mwah. bye. What is up with
this. This looks like I got beaten in the face. It looks like Santa took his bag of coal and just whacked me on the side of the head with it. I wasn't that naughty, jeez.